Kevin Gray, 105 through the fan, Dallas, Texas. Tim, when you hit that three with 103 left in the game, you let out a scream that could probably be heard here in Dallas. Tell me about the emotion that was running through you when you hit that three, knowing the moment in that particular game and what it meant for you guys. It's something that you live for, man. Uh, I mean, uh, it's easier, you know, said and done when you're when you're up a, a couple points, but when you're in that when you're in that zone and you're in that mindset and you're playing against a team like that, uh, those shots are very very big and very key throughout the game. And um, just being able to get two on the road, uh, uh, it, it, it's great. But we know we still got more to do, more work to be done, and uh, a little bit more cleanup on, on, both, on both ends of the floor. Brad. Yeah, Tim, uh, as you said, there's still uh, work to be done. What did you guys learn from yourselves uh, in winning these two games in the way that you won them? Um, I mean, we've been doing a great job of winning on the road all year, all season long. So uh, um, just being able to come here and, um, like I said, having that that crowd presence, uh, it, it, it makes the arena, makes everything feel different, makes everything feel normal. And um, once you're out there competing and, and you got the fans there. It's, it's, it's something you're playing for something, and uh, it's a. Uh, it, it feels great. It feels great, and the adrenaline and the emotions are, are are sky high. And when when you're just executing on both ends of the floor and, and you're in your zone, uh, it's kind of hard to stop. Tim McMahon. Tim McMahon, ESPN. Uh, Tim. Is there a, a building of confidence, kind of a mushroom of mushrooming of confidence with you guys? And, you know, on the other hand, do you sense doubt creeping in with the Clippers? Do you sense, you know, some some deflation on that side? Not sensing anything but on that side. Uh, we know what type of ball club they are. They're a hell of a team. Uh, uh, they got home court advantage for a reason. And and uh, we can't we can't settle, can't rest, uh, know what they're capable of. And uh, what, was your, what was your other question? I'm sorry. Just, I mean, you guys obviously played well late in the season, but you go, you go out there, you, you get two wins, you close them out both in, in convincing fashion, just kind of the, the confidence that's building with you guys, just the, the vibe that you guys are creating. Yeah, I mean, I think the vibes are immaculate, like we've always been saying all season long. Um, and when you're out there competing with your boys, competing with your brothers, um, especially with everything what we've been through all season long with people out of COVID, with COVID and people out with injury injuries, uh, it definitely uh, uh, it definitely brings a lot of the guys closer, I would say. And once everybody got vaccinated, and we were able to hang out and be around one another off the court when we're on the road, having those team dinners and having those team functions where we're around one another. That's what we're all about, and. Um, it helps us not only off the court, but on the court as well. Um, Callie. Tim, I'm curious, how much did you recognize Dirk being behind the bench tonight? And how much do you think that kind of gives a lift to the guys when he's in the building and, and the atmosphere is like it was tonight? Two and on when Dirk is in the building. I'll tell you that. Uh, yeah, Dirk, we saw Dirk earlier today. Uh, we knew Dirty was there and, uh, we're happy that he, we were able to pull out a, a victory. Uh, but like I said, it, it's still a long series, and, I mean, the job is not done at all. We're just uh, creeping into what we can become, and we just got to keep on uh, focusing in and locking in. Um, okay, Chris Henderson. Chris Henderson, chendo.com. So, Tim, um, do you feel like this Mavs team was slept on? For, because obviously you mentioned the COVID you know, at one point in the season, you were nine and fourteen. Do you feel like you guys were slept on coming into this situation? Because not many people picked you guys to actually win this series, let alone win a game or two. Uh, I mean, we can feel any type of way we want. Um, we just know uh, we're all that. The only thing that matters is the, the guys in that locker room and the and the staff and the and the people that are helping us uh, being able to go out there and compete um, to the best of our abilities and. Um, um, it's it's a it's a it's a great situation that we're in. We're we're going to take full advantage of it, and uh, we're going to continue to just stay locked in. 
like I said, I can't stop, can't say it enough. Staying locked in and really, really focusing on ourselves and what we can do to get better.